give you a principle we had on our corporate belief window. You give me the need, and let's take this through the model for an organization. Now, I say had, because we discovered this was not a good principle. Here was our principle. You give me the need. Cut costs no matter what. That doesn't sound like a bad principle, does it? Which of the four needs, folks? Why would the needs for an organization be identical to the needs of a human being? Well, they're made up of human beings. <laughs> Most of them are. So we have the principle in our belief window. Cut costs no matter what. If that's true, then we set up a rules. Now, no one sends an email out saying, set your rules up. Rules are automatic. It's now time for us to hire a receptionist. What kind of receptionist will we hire? Airhead cheapest one we can find. Will the results of that behavior meet our needs over time as a firm? Three weeks later, senior vice president from Rockwell International, one of our biggest clients, they built a space shuttle, by the way, in California. Call me on the phone, Hiram, you have a really interesting receptionist. And I said, really? He said, yeah, she doesn't speak English. I said, she doesn't? He said, no. I called in and asked for some things, and she said, we ain't got none of them, Jack. Now, who is our window to the world but our receptionist? We don't manage our little firm with this crazy model. We sat down and said, what principle on our corporate window allowed us to hire a receptionist like that? Came up pretty fast, cut costs, no matter what. We decided we didn't like that principle, so we took it off and put a new one on. Now, if you think this is easy, folks, you're smoking something strange. <laughs> this is not easy. It's easy to talk about. The new principle in our belief window is we want the finest reputation in America. Now, a new principle on a belief window requires a new set of rules. Rules are automatic. It's now time to hire a receptionist. And it was, again, time to hire a receptionist. What kind of receptionist will we hire now? We have the highest paid finest receptionist in the state. And this is a very interesting experience for me. The person we selected to be our receptionist was already at a director level in our firm. There were only about 400 of us then. We were pretty small. I, her name was Glenda Millar. I'll never forget. I called her into my office. I was all excited. I said, Glenda, there's a new role we'd like you to play here at the firm. We'd like you to be our receptionist. What do you think she said? Why don't you just fire me, Hiram? Now, what was on her belief window about receptionists? Airheads. We had to walk her through this whole process on how we arrived at her as our new receptionist. We gave her a raise. You can buy principles on a blue. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do not write that down. <laughs> but she took the job. She gave me responsible for 18 other people, all of our external communications. But it all started with a new principle on a belief window. Thank you.